Welcome back. Another unboxing video. This one, sorry about that that light. Uh, Wild Ascent um, from Lazy Squire Games. Been waiting for this one for a little bit actually. This got shipped out of the the uh, Europe um, as opposed to China, um, which is why it took a little bit longer for it to reach my shores down here in the land of down under. Um, but very interesting, this one. Um, Get this I'll cut open. Now I wasn't able to go all in for this one, so there will be one box that you won't see, and that is the expansion box. Um, I really wanted to get it, but it was gonna be a hundred and sixty-eight uh Australian dollars for me to purchase. Um so that's why I kind of didn't get it because it was that's quite expensive, just for an expansion. Um, now look at that. It's in a Ziploc bag. That's interesting. Not had a rule book like that before. Something new. So we have the arena rules. So this game plays in two ways. There's um, so arena, uh, and then we have the hunt, the hunt mode, uh, and there is also a campaign book. So we'll start with this one, um, being that it's you know, story based and and stuff. So we got table of content, that's cool. Hard mode, yeah, because you always want to make things harder if you're finding it a bit too easy. Objective rewards, little stuff you need, and some artwork and. A little bit of backstory and stuff. That's kind of cool. First mission. So there's only two maps for this. And this is the main map that you'll use for hunt. And you just, you know, you place all your, your creatures and stuff around. And here we have the allies and your enemies. Objectives and rewards. And then on to the next one. Okay, so yeah, each of these is just a bit of backstory. And then the actual mission itself. Um, and then a reward. Unlock stuff. That's kind of cool. There's a glossary. It might be. Yep. So that's all that does. Okay. Hunt mode, which is what the campaign's based on. Uh, table of content. Components. I'm not going to gripe on it about it again, but you know I love seeing this stuff. Mode, survival, victory conditions, how the game plays, uh, seasons, apparently too. How skill tree works. So you have to, um, it's almost like a, I mean, your, your typical RTS, you know, build this building, it unlocks more options. Upgrade certain buildings or unlock more build options. That's pretty much how the skill works. Um, so you... You start with, I'm going to assume this one's the forge. So when you get the level one forge, you unlock whatever they are. Um, level two forge, you follow this, unlocks this, and I guess the ability to have level three. Or you need level three and level two forge. I think this is trophies, I think. Anyway, it's a bit confusing. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but I'll figure it out. Um, let's see how the layout of the player's card works. We'll have a look at those as we go through. Equipment. Different layouts for the different hunt modes. How to, to lay the actual board out. And the other stuff. Resource cards. Keywords. That's good. Because on a card, it might say, when you're downed. You're like, well, I think I know what it means. But then you have a look here, and it tells you what's downed. A free action. Yeah. Cool. Arena mode. Yeah. Table of contents with your stuff. More artwork. 
Uh, this one is player versus player versus monsters. So think of um, Roman gladiatorial arenas, essentially. Any different equipment, upgrades and stuff that you can have. Drafting. So there's different stuff when you play. Up to four players. And there's a the layout for arena mode. So I'll show you those balls anyway. Uh, and then more keywords. Cool. Common status effects. Nice, let's get into it. <clears throat> so this tray, the little baggy things, um, is where all your, your cards and stuff will be stored. Kind of cool. Um, apparently, I have a bunch of figures that decided to jump around. Yay! Dice. More dice. All right, let's have a look at these. Now, these are resin. These aren't plastic, and that's why I was a bit worried when I saw that these are all over the place. Hence the level of detail on that. Um, they had announced. Uh, so Archon Studios is who did the miniatures for them, um, which is why they look really good. But they announced that any further reprints of this game uh, will not have resin miniatures. So if you did not back this now, you won't get resin miniatures. The only other way to be able to get them is if you purchase this from someone that's selling a copy. Um, so, yeah, the level of detail is going to change. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Damn, they look good. Look at that. That's really nice. And get that back in there so you can see the, the foam inserts. Hoping this has helped save a few of them, not murdered anything. Yeah, these are cool. I mean, a bit regretful I didn't get the expansion, but I don't know, I'll, I'll see if someone's selling it and see if I can get a copy. That might be my, um, the only way I'm going to be able to get it. Sorry, just trying to be extra careful since they are resin. Resin has high detail, but a bit more fragile than plastic. If you were to knock one of these off the table, it'll probably shatter. Oh, look at that little skull there. That's cool. Uh, they have announced their more more skull trophies. Was those due to Predator? <laughs> uh, so they will be doing an uh, like a an expansion outside of this, like a second you know campaign kind of thing. Um, they will be doing uh, plastic. Uh, and I do believe they mentioned something about the scaling. What the hell is this? Uh, that they're changing the scaling of the models, I think. Um, something I'm a little bit annoyed about. Uh, so they're redoing some of the miniatures for this. Um, and any of us that backed this originally 
we'll get a discount to kind of repurchase this uh, if we want to, if we're not forced to. Uh, this will work with the new game that comes out. Um, but yeah, I, I believe it was something to do with the scaling is going to be different between the two. So it's like we got a, a almost like a limited collector's version because we got resin miniatures, but this was a one-off. So yeah, uh, I, I guess I'll just have to kind of see what the, uh, the discount and stuff is going to be. They're not sure. They're still working out details. Um, but as of this video, um, now it's, yeah, it's not come out. So that character makes me feel uneasy. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's, it's awkward. Bubbles or something. I'm not sure. This is kind of like a tentacle mermaid looking amphibious looking thing. It's been a few years since I backed this. I thought he was bent then. Little bit of flash from the resin. Just yeah, we can clean that off. We can fix it. We have the technology. I think that thing had a butt. <laughs> All right, uh, this was a um, early backer only exclusive miniature as well. The Phoenix, so that one's nice. So if you got an early enough, you got that one unlocked as well. Those runes, they're a part of the sculpt. Bit of a wash and they'll they'll work out quite nice. I think most of these are going to be the same uh, for the last parts. So I'll just show off a couple of them and then we'll move along. Little spiked thing, whatever it is. And that's that's just the same. So two of those. More of the uh, little, the whatever they are. So this is really tricky to try and get them back into the the case without breaking any of the resin. So apologies, this. Probably will be a little bit a longer video just because I'm trying to be so careful with them. No, um, so we've got got cards as well. So they seem like the equipment cards. So I'll just open one of those. Sorry about the noise outside. They're still doing construction in my backyard. Um, okay, interesting. The the way the artwork is done is um, it's yeah. oh, there we go. There's some color art. Oh, that's nice. 
some cool stuff here. Um, and more of those. Yeah. And then I mean pretty much more of that. Here we have over here we've got some more cards. So it seems to be much of the same. I'm uh, just going to lift this out. There's a uh, cardboard underneath that tray. And the rest of the stuff. Cool. Tokens. All right, do the test. Nope, she's in there. But comes out nice enough. Seems to be decent cardboard. Here we have, oh yes, this is the camp. So the... here's the symbols, here we go. Temple, the workshop, the barracks, the seeker's den, and the creature's pen. There we go, we figured it out. Uh, so here's the each of the buildings. This thing is big. Okay, I'll put it down here so I kind of see it at a distance. Um, and then each of these will be where you place those cards. And unlock the level up there so you return here before every hunt um yeah that's kind of cool we've got the board so we'll do that second now all the hero cards and stuff are actual cardboard so we have abilities And the other side so this one is for arena and then this side will be for hunt when you do the hunt mode so we'll show you here what levels you need to have unlocked to get certain skills so almost like your rpgs and and stuff so it gives it a bit of, a, bit of a feel like that so just more creatures and, and tokens and stuff. Well, it's good that they've got a tray that everything will fit into, all sorted and stuff as well. More artwork for for the characters. Much the same in the back. More of that stuff. So, for all the tokens, put those away, and then we'll get to the board. So here we have, this will be for hunt. It's decent enough, and you get your, your tracker along the edge. Colourful. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we have the arena. So, 
It's kind of cool. Then we move on to the stretch goals box. the same. Different foam, this one's softer. More weapons. I don't think there's... Oh, there is. Mistake. Sorry, just trying to un unwrap this. Oh, come on. More creatures. And then the back side of those. Getting in the corner. And my daughter gets old enough to play board games. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. Fire Toad. Yeah, that sounds fun. Hmm, Chimera. Alright, back to the insert. Let's have a look at the minis. If I can get it out of the foam. Unicorn! It's got some stuff here. There's some foam or something stuck on it. Right, we'll clean it up. Looks nice. Oh, look how thin that sword is. God, this makes me paranoid. Actually, I think this serpent, sorry, was the the early backer pledge. This is what you got, not the phoenix. Apologies. Now, try and get that 
back in there. Actually, I'm not comfortable with that. He's always a herd. <laughs> Nice detail on these. And I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but there is her hands are sculpted with her fingers. And you can actually see the individual fingers too. That's the level of detail you can get out of resin. Could do some really nice OSL with this. That's not a torch, never mind. Could pretend it's a torch. <laughs> Here we have the Chimera. That thing has eyes all over its skin. That stuff of nightmares. So if you do have nightmares, uh, apologies. A worm or something. Huh, they sculpted grass on it. I think that's something I haven't mentioned yet. How bad of me. The bases. I mean, you would have noticed. I'm pretty sure I've noticed, but I hadn't mentioned it. Come on. You can do it. You're a beetle. His miniatures are cool. These are nice. I'm pretty happy with this. What I've seen of it so far. And then we have the Lazy Squire. Let's see what they did there. <laughs> so, yeah, most of the cards are going to be the same. So, blow from one more. I don't think the cards is going through every card is what people want to see. So 
So we'll do a couple more. It's the, pretty much all the same backing. Cool. I'm gonna have fun sorting and putting all that away. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I'll update videos as much as I can so everyone can check them out. But yeah, if you can, leave a comment. Let me know if this, if you're getting this, if you've played it. Yeah, I'd like to know. Have a chat. All right, thanks everyone.